guys, it's K-Beast. Um, if my voice sounds a little weird, I have a cold right now, so that's just, yeah, it's a big deal with that since yesterday. Not a lot of fun. Um, but I got a bunch of stuff in the mail today. Um, oh, well, over the past week, actually, but the last of it came in the mail today. So, I'm bringing you a haul video, um, of a bunch of art supplies and art-related supplies that I've gotten, I want to say since December. Um, I don't get art supplies often, so I like to do big bulk hauls like this when I get a lot of stuff. So yeah, uh, some of this was Christmas presents, some of this um, I bought over time, so yeah. So let's, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first thing, I'm just going to get this out of the way because it's really big. Um, I got a ton of watercolor paper. I used the Canson XL watercolor paper. I got the 9x12. I actually have two pads of this, and I got one pad of the 11 by 15. Um, it basically, I went to Michael's with a gift card that I got for Christmas, and there was a sale going on at the same time where you got, um, for the Canson and the Strathmore papers, pads like these, you could get buy one, get one free. So I stocked up. So I have over 100 sheets of watercolor paper that I need to use. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited about doing, you know, more studies and, um, and big paintings and stuff. So I'm really happy about that. All right. So the next thing I got, I also got at Michael's and it was at the same time I got the paper. I used my Christmas gift card specifically for this because it was something I really wanted. I don't have the original packaging anymore because I've had it for a few months and I've used them. I'm going to keep them in a little plastic baggie. And I got the Reeves uh, gouache set. Um, there's 24 colors, I believe. So, because uh, I wanted to get into gouache. So I got the full range of colors that they had to offer. And I've been using them in this old palette that I've had since college. Uh, I, ha I use them dry and then also when I want, to, want them to be fresh, I just squeeze some right out of the tube in there and use it in the palette. And they'll let it dry in the palette so it doesn't get wasted because gouache um, can be reactivated by water even after it's dried. But I've noticed that it does function differently when you use it from here versus straight from the tube. So, still learning how to do that. But I've been having a lot of fun using these on my watercolors lately to uh, add depth and the fact that it's opaque. Uh, more opaque than watercolor means I can do more things. So, I got that. And then this was a Christmas gift, actually, from my friend Jesse. Hello, kitty. Sorry, it's my brother's cat. He, he likes to come in and, and talk to me. Uh, my friend Jesse got me these uh, Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. She works at Michael's and picked these up for, uh, she picked up a set for me and for my best friend John because he likes glitter, too. I have a, a failed flower study from February, and I can show you what they look like on the back. I've already, I've played with them, but I haven't like utilized them in like a piece yet because I haven't done a lot of pieces where I felt glitter was necessary. Although my best friend John would look at this and say glitter is always necessary. Um, but I've been doing a lot of uh, landscape studies and um, birds for my dad lately. So like I really like that blue though. That is definitely something I have to play with. And they make more colors, so for funsies, I might have to get more of these. But these were a Christmas present. Okay, so this next thing I got, it was an impulse buy. I was in a Target, and they looked interesting, so I got them. Again, I don't have the original packaging. I've been keeping things in plastic bags to save space. Um, but these are dual-tip brush pens from Crayola. So one side is a bullet nib, and yeah, that's the bullet nib right there. Um, and then the other side is a brush nib, and this cat really wants in my room. Um, and the brush nib is a felt tip brush nib. I thought that they were bristles, but they're not. Um, but I thought this could be fun to do like a cheap art supply challenge at some point. So I picked them up. Um, one thing that kind of bothers me is the bullet nib and the brush nib for the same marker are different colors. So I think they did that to fit more colors in the set than usual than they could. Like I think it's 48 colors total, but they're not the same color, and that's kind of annoying. But whatever. Um, they're water-based. I've tested them on my sketchbook. You can dilute them with water, um, but I haven't actually done anything with them. 
just because I've only come back to recording recently, but I think I could do like a little challenge video with these because these were pretty cheap and they, they look kind of fun. So I picked these up. All right, this next round of stuff is just a bunch of odds and ends that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, I just want a little disclaimer. Um, as a queer woman, there's a lot of things about Hobby Lobby I do not agree with, but one opened up in my town and the nearest Michaels takes an hour to get to. So I shop there sometimes. <laughs> I'm not exactly proud of it, but I need my art supplies and it's local. And I live in a to small town in the middle of nowhere. There's not a lot of stuff that's local. But I picked up a couple odds and ends because I had never been in one before and I wanted to see what they had. So I got this little flower shaped palette. Clearly it's already been used. Um, I used this for gouache mostly when I was doing my flower studies in February picked up this came in a two-pack little spray bottles I use this to wet my palettes I found this is actually way more effective and then just dipping your your brush in the water and then putting it in the pan of paint because uh, it gets has time to soak in so it came in two I wrote water on this one because the other one's empty and I'm thinking of putting rubbing alcohol in it and using it for effects but I haven't actually done that yet so so there's that uh, I picked up a hole punch, um, well not a hole punch, it's a corner, corner punch, so it makes rounded corners because I thought that could be fun to do for prints or for originals. I like, I like the way rounded corners look, so I finally got one of these. And then I got these embossing, um, ink, uh, embossing pens, um, they're the, wow that does not want to open. Yeah, it's the uh, fluid that you put on the paper to make embossing powder stick. I already have powder and a heat gun, so and I've used it in previous works. But the actual fluid that I had was this big tube, and it's a very large space, so it's hard to get detail, and I've been using an old brush to do that. But I found these, these little bullet nib pens to do the detail work instead, so I can add more glitter and embossing powder to my work, because I like, I like sparkly things. All right, so we're near the end. Um, this thing I'm particularly excited about, this came in the mail this morning. I had been waiting to get my hands on these for a long time. And I was finally able to buy them because I got YouTube money for the first time. So I spent it on my channel. So I got a set of the Uniposca paint markers. Ugh. Everybody has been using these lately on social media. It's, it's like the new art trend or whatever. Um, I've been following Matt Cummings on Twitter and Instagram. He goes by Eiffel Art on social media. He's one of my favorite artists right now. He's been using these to great success um, lately, and I just I had to get them. So um, I bought the set of 21 colors, I believe, or 24, 25. I can't remember. Um, but they're the 3M, so they are the fine tip pens. Um, they have a set with five more colors that's the medium point, but I wanted a thinner point to make sure I could have some control. So I think there's actually 24 in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a whole, like, not really a review video, but I'm going to do a whole video just using these in a couple of weeks um, because I've been really excited to use them. So, yeah. And the last thing is this from this haul, which you probably already know because you've seen the title, I was sent some products by Arteza. Uh, they reached out to me a few weeks ago on my email and asked if I was interested in doing a review of their products. I said yes. They asked me what it was I interested in using. I said I'm interested in watercolor and gouache because that's what I'm into right now. So they sent me their 12 pack of watercolor colors, watercolor paints, and their 24 set of gouache. Um, so I'm really excited to try these. And that dedicated review video is going to be coming next Saturday. I'm going to use these together in a painting and do a little demo, do a swatch, tell you more about the company and the products and everything. So, yeah, so this is coming next week. And I believe I'm going to do the Posca pens the week after that. Um, but if there's anything else that you saw in my haul that you really would like to see me demo or do something a little more in-depth review of, Please let me know in the comments below um, if you really want me to do that Crayola uh, brush pen challenge thing or whatever uh, to do like a cheap art spell challenge using those or something. Let me know in the comments below and um, I will think about those suggestions for future videos. 
Uh, but that basically does it for this week's video. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling under the weather, so I figured something quick, do a little haul of everything I got, and then I can focus my time on the Arteza review, because that one's going to take me a little while for next week. So, yeah. That does it for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!